these things happen, look up. So why are you looking down? I went out to Robin Wood and the Mazamory had to roll me in there and I was uh, uh, in a wheelchair. It just made me uh, cringe a little bit. And as we were passing by, there were three older men sitting off the side talking loudly. Yes, this is Groundhog Day. And I'm just wondering whether Groundhog has seen it. Seen what? His shadow. His shadow. So you mean to tell me a groundhog, a hog of the ground, is looking for his shadow and you are going to look with him? Why? You got your own shadow. Look for yours. Did you ask him, could you help him chase the shadow? I bet you didn't. See, I thought about it. I said the people that went down into the ground in 2020, right? I bet you that they had another chance to live this life, right? Even though we're living it the way that we're living it three years later, right? I bet you some of them had a chance to be up above the ground and live this life they would take it. And I bet you they would not be found looking at the ground, talking to a groundhog. Patuxa to Tony Phil. I said Patuxa to Tony feels what? How he feel about it? How you ask Patuxa to Tony? How he feel about people chasing him? And check this out, that those men were had to be in the 80s, 90s, years, 90 years or whatever. My sister told me, she said, Jamie, that's not the same groundhog that was what was out when they had the groundhog in the movie. I said, yes it is, because that's the groundhog. She's like, Jamie. It hurt me a little bit because I knew the groundhog died. Groundhog life expectancy, I don't think it's that long. Now, I didn't look it up because it's not important at all. It's just as important as you looking at the ground, waiting for the groundhog to come out and chase his own shadow like a dog chasing his tail. It's, it's just that important. But to know that these 80 year old men, right? Could be wise, could be have wisdom, right? That they have sown into. They're sitting at a groundhog. They have sown their tongues in that second into talking about Patuxa to Tony. Phil, where is your wisdom at? What are you talking about? If I'm talking about a groundhog, then expect that I will hog the ground just like the groundhog is doing. I, I'm looking at the ground, but they got people that went in the ground that would never not be doing that even if they, were, if they were above the ground. You are doing things that are beneath you and wondering why you are getting beneath me things. The Bible says, or the, the Bible adjoins my mind. What I say? Where the mind goes, the body follows. Basically, right? So, but if my mind is on following Patuxa to Tony Field, I'm looking at the ground, looking at the ground. My eyes are there too. So where am I headed to? Where am I going? If I'm watching a groundhog chase his tail. If I sit in a, in a camp out and watch this groundhog, wait for groundhog to come out and watch him do it uh, for eight hours and on February 2nd, the February 2nd have been, has been wasted because I've been looking towards the ground. I've been basically invested in my grave. But that's what the Tony feel. And here's the thing, unless you have groundhogs, a life expectancy is 10 years. You have been around for 80 years. You have been around for eight of the life expectancies of this groundhog. Why are you chasing him he should be chasing you he should be investing in you you were, just, you were designed to look up you know, when these things happen look up and I, yeah. you were designed to be loved I realize he said love the Lord your God with all your heart soul mind strength to love your neighbor as yourself right you were designed you were designed for the grand design the master created you you uh, you were not spoken into existence you were it got molded up close and then a word jesus christ breathed into you oh god word breathed into you oh yeah people now they, they, they got people that are depressed i'm depressed too right i'm dealing with some stuff we got depression right all press, depressed, compressed, new press, somebody press, I'm pressed on every side. I start gotta look that scripture up. Yet not perplexed. Persecuted that not forsaken, cast down, but something never destroyed, right? I gotta look that scripture up, because that scripture scripture is epic. I may be persecuted, but I'm not pressed. Hmm. You can persecute me, you can sit on me, right? Persecute me, uh, for me, basically they sit on you. The words sit on you. They put a word out there about you, right? They're telling God sit, not gospel about you, right? Uh, they spread no good news, they spread bad news, right? Uh, sitting on you, and as a result of it, most people would have come up pressed. That's it. I'm done. But you didn't. They persecuted you, but you are not, you are not pressed. The odd 
thing is, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, we look down and we expect upness. We are not, upness ain't a word, but I, I, I just like to make up words like that. We look down, but we expect upness. How are you expecting God to do more in your life when you are looking down, right? He said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. When he lifts you up, he's not going to lift you up with a hung down head. If your head is hung down, you are telling me who your God is. Because your head is hung down facing your, where, your God. And you said, to one, 8 out of the 24 hours in a day looking down. Something, I, I got to look around around your feet and see. And I might not see nothing, but you see something interesting. Something interesting has captured your attention. And you are focused and fixed on it. It's the Bible says for us that are fixed on going to heaven, right? He says, fix your eyes on Jesus, who is the author and finisher of your faith. He ain't down. But talk to the Tony Phil. He down. But God ain't down. God is up. So I wonder why they will spend their time looking. What is but what is so interesting? What could have caught your attention that would have you focused? Ooh, God on a rat. Trap the rat, get up and go to work. Do something, right? Say la. I made a point of it. Right? Because I said that told me to have got faith. That's why I use them sometimes. Because you know what I'm talking about. God is a good guy. He is. But Tony got my everything great. Right? Tony got endorsements. Tony did a commercial with um, Shaq. And they was talking. They had a conversation right on TV, right in front of me. They were talking. Tony Tiger did it. Then recently he was on um, the, 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 the Nickelodeon Slime uh, show with, the, with um, Young Dylan. He, was like, oh, no. he said, why well, don't we just put the camera this way? And Dylan said, because the slime is going to go, the camera goes. He said, that might mess up my stripes. No, 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 that might mess up my. That might mess up my stripes. Tony got up, right? He got ups. He got upness. Because check it out. He was a tiger. He was a tiger. And now he got TV. He got endorsements, right? He got up by the tigers, right? He ain't no, uh, uh, um, be sober, be vigilant. For your absent devil rose about like a warm lion, seeking whom he may devour. He's not that, 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 that like a lion, right? He's Tony the Tiger. Remember that? Show them what, show them you're a hero. Show them what you can do. Remember that? They kicking the soccer ball. The taste of Tony's frosted. He got a cereal. Uh huh. <laughs> What you got, Jamie? Um, I got in a picture in the museum. No. When I say another, that means it's been done before. You gotta come up higher. If I say another, if somebody asks me, I say, what you doing? They say another. Mm. They don't know I'm thinking that, but I'm looking at them like, mm. what you mean another? What has changed? First year, I got one painting in the museum. Second year, I got two in, right? Third year, I got, I got one in, but it was bought. <laughs> so I, I, that made it so expensive, I can't believe anybody bought it. I said, are you kidding me? It was during COVID too. Nobody was allowed in the museum and they had a group come up. A group was brought up that went into the museum and a woman from there bought the paint. I said, who spent that much money on what I do? Whoo! Mercy said, he'll do it. Mercy said, he'll pay the cost, man. Mercy ain't gonna pay the cost to fix my foot to figure out what's going on with my foot. I hope Mercy uh, will see me, right? Mercy can, it's can, can, it's can, can. He can, right? But uh, mercy can do it. And you know what else? Tony. Tony can do it. It takes a lot of faith when you are an animal that walks on all fours. Now, Tony, I haven't seen him on all fours ever. I mean, I think at one point I saw him, uh, it, was, it disturbed me. Nah, come on, nah. it, it, it's, it's amazing when you have so much faith uh, that you climb over so many mountains uh, that if you ever hang, uh, jump down off where you are, right? Jump down and start acting like you did before, it disturbs people. I think Tony jumped over in a, uh, the, car, the, the cartoon, he jumped over something in the cereal box and landed in front of his cereal. That disturbed me. So I was like, why is he acting like an animal? Tony has so much faith, he's walking around on two feet now. And he plays soccer. And he plays basketball. He do play hockey, but he's not really that good at it. Mm, he got to work on his hockey skills. Mm, a little bit. Mm. To the left. To the left, Tony. To the left. I saw a commercial. It was a six-minute commercial, but... Whatever. He has all his hockey skills. He's playing with the children's. But at least he's playing. Mm. 
when you're doing something right, it takes a lot of faith to step up. You are, uh, he learned a second language. He got the ESL going on, right? English is my second language. I, I spoke tiger, I spoke rah, rah, rah. But now I speak English, and I got sell, and I got to pick up a spoon, and eat, and get others to eat my food. I'm great, and he kept going, and he kept going. Yeah. Tony to go down. He went cold now too. He went like you know a whole bunch of stuff. I think he get hot with all that fur. But Tony with clothes. I see him in pants and ascot, like like um like Scooby Doo, um Fred. He got an ascot. Yep, just Tony wear ascot sometimes. He probably got a whole bunch of ascots in his closet. Tony he probably got a closet. He got keep the guy still has somewhere to keep his ascots. So he got a closet. <laughs> But the part that got me the most when I saw young Dylan, I think it was yesterday or the day before, young Dylan said, because y'all know, I already told y'all, I confessed, I watch Nickelodeon. I don't really watch TV, growing up TV, because y'all watch trash. I watch the different shows, I go on the little online thing, and I watch like, um, on demand, I watch like shows I've seen before. So I have the Disney channel, so I watch Emperor's New Groove, the movie, and then I watch Emperor's New School, <laughs> which is uh, the cartoon version of it. I've seen all the cartoons, so I watch them over and over again. It's only on for two years. So... I watch their shows. I watch kids shows. I'm, I'm a kid at heart. I really am. So I loved that, huh? Tony when he said, the, the, Tony said, point the camera over here. And young Dylan said, I can't because the, the slime is going to go, you know, over there, wherever the, the camera is. He said, oh, no, 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 mind. Now I mess up my stripes. Bye, bye, cut out. Y'all saw. Y'all see what I'm going? Mm. See, and Isaiah didn't say that, that he was wounded for my transgressions. He was bruised for my iniquities. The chastisement of my peace was upon him, and by his stripes, by his stripes. I told somebody, they said, How you feeling? I said, I'm healed. He said, Jamie, you still got crutches, you got your boot on. I said, No, but I'm still healed. I didn't see anything, I didn't know anything, if I hadn't had the episode in my church yet. I said, I'm healed. Because here's the thing, did Jesus have stripes? Then I got healed. I got some healings. I got healings, healings, and a cup, healings of physical. I don't know what I need to say to you. I got it. Whatever it is, I got it. Right? Because I claimed it because I said I am blank. I filled in the blank, so I got it. Blank it. Whatever it is, fill in the blank with it. You need it, fill in the blank with it. You got it. Right? So, if then Jesus was uh, wounded for my transgressions. You got transgressions, Jamie? No, because the uh, wound has happened. He was bruised for my iniquities. Uh, you got iniquities, Jamie? No, because the bruises uh, took place. The chastisement of my peace, God, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why I can wear shoes of peace. My feet are shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace because Jesus bought me some peace shoes. And y'all know I like the—I used to play basketball, so I like the pump ums up. The pump ums. They tried to give me a cast. So I tried on a boot that was a pump up boot, and it no, it didn't work out for me. It's, it, it's possible that if I got the pump up boot, I might not be able to get so much pain. I might have some cushion. Because you can pump up cushion in the boot and you also let it out. But the boot hurt me. So I, I had just had surgery. The boot hurt me, so I couldn't do it. Hurt me. But his stripes. Whew. So I said, no, 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 mind. Nobody messed up my stripes. I told you the other day, I said, I, I, I just started wearing tank tops. Just started. And I don't like to look at myself in the mirror with a tank top on, but I don't think, honestly, I didn't. I don't think I looked that bad. But still tank top. When I was skinny as a stick, I didn't like wearing tank tops. Because it always beat strikes onto me. And I told y'all I thought she was trying to put her bill of sale, her bill of rights on me. Uh, she was trying to beat it into me. So that way the, the, the consensus is that strikes on both my arms. The consensus is if I beat you, right? To, when you look at the strike tomorrow or look at it the next day, when you look at this, you will remember. This means, make sure you take the garbage out. This means don't fall asleep before the dish is dry. We had a dish towel that sat on the edge, that sat hooked on the stove. I do that now. I have a dish towel hooked on the stove that I don't use. We had a dish towel hooked on the stove. I could not use it. So I sat there, but I had to wait for the dishes to dry because the dishes had to air dry. And if I used the towel, she knew it. I wanted to, in my mind, I want to rush to uh, do some homework before 9 o'clock because I had to be in bed by 9 o'clock. I'm talking high school. I had to be in bed by 9 o'clock. That's just the way it was. I didn't, I didn't argue it. Samantha came back when, she, when I got pulled out of the house. Foster the dog can't pull me out of the house. Samantha came in and she wasn't doing nothing. <laughs> she fought everything. But every rule is always laid down, I, fo I follow. I'm just a follower of rules, that's what I do. Except when I came to church. 
I'll sneak out of my grandma's house. Knowing I was going to get beat for it, I'll sneak out of my grandma's house every night and go to church. Out of that, they would have heavy doors, so I'll turn the lock. Instead of the, the, when the door closed, I, I could let it tap, 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 tap. So the door was not closed when I left it. But I let it was open so I could actually come back and open the door and come in there. But the door had a creak to it. So even if grandma was in the bed, she knew I went to church. She didn't say nothing to me, but she gave the next morning. I, I know you left the house last night. I was talking they have church five nights a week. Monday night was prayer and the um, youth, young adult choir rehearsed. And I wanted to be there because when I was there, I threw myself mentally into what was there. So what was home did not uh, affect me because I was at church. So Monday night was praise, uh, uh, the, uh, the prayer they used to do on the internet. Pray for an hour, hour and a half. And the, youth, the young adult choir would sing. Uh, Wednesday night was Bible study. And nobody came to that because of the CHM was CJ. And not too many people really understood him. But I, but I, was, I was young and I wanted to. Right? So now, Wednesday night was Bible study. Then they had Friday. Friday night, um, 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 a regular praise service. Sometimes they do the radio um, thing. Tuesday night was something else. I forget what it was, but they had service on Tuesday nights. Uh, Saturday night, we had young adult um, youth choir rehearsal. And I look forward to that because we get that 6 o'clock. Most times we will leave it until 8 o'clock when we stand there singing. Standing in the knee. <laughs> just standing in the I would just I would learn these songs. I was singing them in my head when I was getting beat. Nobody knew I was getting beat, but I was still singing the songs, right? The, 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 the sad for my stripes, right? And then Sunday morning, we get to church at 10 o'clock in the morning. Sunday school starts. Sunday school, Sunday school. For 15 years, I heard that song over and over and over again. S U N D A Y S E H double. Sunday school was before church. Now, for me, just now, it started. I thought, oh, Sunday school, I have a church? Sunday school, the choir got to march in. You get to the front, then you sing. You got to um, go, you, when you do the offering, you got to walk all, all get back in the choir, got to even march out. March all the way out, then march all the way back up. And as you're walking up by the thing, you got to put your money on a, a table. You got to march out, then march back up to, just to do offering. Then the pastor got to preach, right? And then you do your two selections uh, after the praise team sing, right? Then the pastor got to preach. Then after he preaches, you got to do uh, one selection. Then after you did the A and B selection, now you can do A, and select, a selection. Then after that, you got to do something else. They do prayer call, right? And you got to sing while he's doing you put your hands together like a prayer, but do I sing because he's uh, praying, he's calling people to altar, so you gotta sing, you gotta pray a song. We had a song, blah, 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 then we will leave and go home, which I never wanted to do, and then walk PWW at 6 o'clock. So I, after 3.30, right, we get out of church, be back at 6 o'clock. We come back at 6 o'clock for YPWW. YPWW stop at 8 o'clock. It's like a Bible study on Sunday, right? Sunday school Bible study, Mixiana. Then we have 8 o'clock service, and we'll do all that stuff that I described in the morning, all over again. You know, A, B selection, and then A selection. And you usually don't see the same stuff that you're saying um, at, at, in the morning at night so you need to rehearse right but we had a song one Sunday a month so we rehearsed it every Saturday for one Sunday I got strikes but, uh, but, uh, but I'm going to rehearse it and I remember, there was always bullets flying so my grandmother and my mother everybody described that I was not supposed to be going to church but I still did it bullets flying bullets flying and, and I knew it I always told myself and I, know, I never said this to anybody but Linwood my cousin I said if I die I might as well die because I ain't got nothing here Getting there even with a bullet in my leg is worth it. As so I would run. <laughs>